The first model trains were made in Europe during the 1960s. These trains were made of wood and sometimes metal and had to be pushed or pulled by a person. Later in 1901, Lionel made the first electric train. These trains were often put in display windows to attract shoppers. Most of these trains just moved in one direction with no lights or sound, but later on technology became more sophisticated and the trains were able to change direction have lights and even produce smoke. You can get different types of trains, such as freight trains. Passenger trains. And much more. After Lionel's train, many other brands started making trains as well. For example, Atlas, Bachman, and Cato. Over time, the trains improved and have gotten better. Some trains can even be controlled by a handheld remote. Model trains are usually more popular around Christmas time. People will put them around trees, but these trains are usually battery operated. Most trains run off electricity from a transformer, like this one here. When I turn this dial, it sends electricity into the track, making the train move. I can also change the direction with this switch. And then the train will move the other way. Electricity goes in from behind the transformer, here, and into the track. Thank you for watching. I want to say a special thanks to Joan Wilcox, Blake Wilcox, and Alan Wilcox. Greetings everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to do 3D art drawings. Some materials you will need are crayons or colored pencils, a pencil, and something to write on. The first step into making the 3D hand art is sketching your hand on an appropriate drawing surface. The next step is to draw a series of lines, both big and small across the paper. When you get to the hand, make slight ridges to the other side of the hand. Next, you will choose the colors you want to use for your drawing. You can choose whatever colors you want. Be creative! After you've picked your colors, start coloring! Once you are done, either choose a black crayon or colored pencil and use it to outline the hand. You can also use the black as shadows to really make the art pop. Fix any imperfections that you don't like and you're done! Enjoy your art!
If you hate digging your nails into tape, grab a paper clip and use it as a placeholder. Having trouble taking a battery out of control? Well, I have a life hack for that. As seen here, I use a toothpick to pry the battery out. Ta-da! Having trouble finding your page in the book? Well, I have a life hack for that. Well, grab a paper clip, mark it, and you'll never use the place again.